Oh, I am cold, but man, is it worth it. So, I just got out of American Fiction, the new film written and directed by Corey Jefferson. This is his film debut as a writer and director. This stars Jeffrey Wright as Thelonious Monk Ellison, an, an author. He hasn't been very successful lately. He hasn't published uh, any works in a while. He's an African-American author. Uh, one of the issues is publishers want him to write kind of more of a black book there you know he's writing experiences that aren't necessarily the african-american experience or the stereotypical kind anyways he discovers uh an author played by Issa Rae and she wrote a book and it just seems to have a lot of stereotypical characters and stereotypical language in it and it's very successful so out of frustration Thelonious writes a novel of his own um and he's it's completely stereotypical uh about the uh the struggle black experience that has um street crime drugs rappers you know all that um all that street urban struggle stuff well come to find that this book becomes a sensation uh monk as he's known in the movie, um, it doesn't doesn't use his real name. It's the the name he uses is Stag R. Lee. But the book explodes, and there's all this other family drama that's going on alongside uh, with it. And as Monk says, the dumber uh, his book gets, the richer he gets. So um, let's first uh, get into the uh, performances. Um, first off, Jeffrey Wright, who, again, I think is just one of the best actors out alive today. And I really believe this is his best performance. And that is really saying something about the caliber of um, his talent. Um, Monk, uh, as he plays him, is a complex, layered, funny, relatable person. And, you know, he's he plays him as, you know, an African-American. And he says in, in himself, he doesn't see race. But he's faced with, you know, race all the time, especially once, you know, he starts seeing how um, people are accepting of this this fake novel that uh, that he wrote. But it's a great performance. I am pretty sure he's going to get an Oscar nomination for it for Best Actor. It's just out of this world. But he's not the only great performance uh, in here. Um, Tracy Ellis uh, Ross and Sterling K. Brown play as brother and sister. Um, they have great chemistry as siblings. You really get a great sense of the the real family dynamic. You get a sense that they these people care and love uh, you know each other, and they're still you know complex. They still argue um, and have disagreements like real family members. And I'm watching this movie, and I'm like, oh my god, there's so much of you know, the, how I talk to my sisters and how we speak to each other and um, how we joke with each other. And there's a lot of that in the movie. And I was like, man, Corey Jefferson is just ripping from my life. And it was it was tremendous. Um, Erica Alexander Maxine from Living Single, she's in this and she brings a great uh, performance as well as uh, the love interest. Um, and um, John Ortiz as the publisher is is funny. He's hilarious. Um, so th all the performances in this movie uh, are great. The direction by Corey Jefferson isn't really too flashy. Um, the direction really m more focuses on the performances and the writing. The the dialogue is is really great uh, in this. There is one little stylistic touch that uh, Jefferson uses when Monk is writing and we kind of get to visualize, you know, how he's seeing the story play out in his head. So that was one little stylistic flourish that Jefferson used. That was that was real nice. But like I said, for the most part, this is not a very stylish movie. Um, again, this is really thrust and propelled forward by the writing and by the performances. And again, the, the writing... It's smart, it's realistic, it's funny, but it still carries a lot of weight and a lot of human drama, a lot of great human drama. There's a lot of things that happen 
uh, with this with the uh, the Ellison uh, family, and you know it. The the film isn't just about you know the, the the hilarity that ensues with the escalation of this this fake novel that's getting more and more popular and and the snowball effect. But there's this really uh, neat family drama that's also happening at the same time, and it just mounts all of these different um, pressures and stresses on uh, Monk, on Jeffrey Wright's character. And we see how, you know, all of this progresses and escalates and it shapes him and changes him as a character. And everything that happens in this film um, really helps to mold and change these different dynamic, um, complex characters. It's really, really smartly written. And, you know, the comedy is great. Um, The nickname that... Monk's mother uses for him is amazing. The first time she said it, I was like, oh my God. And there's only like five or six people in the theater, but every single one of us howled at this movie because there were just some moments where I was just laughing out loud. The theater was just uproarious and we were just having uh, the, the time of our lives. Um, yeah, you know, the themes in this movie... You know, as, especially as a person of color um, that, that you know, sees a lot of struggle movies, right? There, we, I grew up seeing movies about slaves and about urban dramas um, and street life and street crime. And, you know, there's something to be said about how those types of stories are digested and who tells those stories and who decides what of those stories are culturally relevant and who decides what is the black voice, right? It's like, do do publishers and movie producers and people that re- read scripts from black artists, do they want all of us to sound the same, whether it comes to like, you know, music um, or, you know, character, how we write characters, um, drama, Do you know, is it a matter of, you know, will white America or white audience only accept black art if it has to do with slavery or if it has to do with urban drama or if it has to do with, um, you know, crime or anything like that? Um, anything that doesn't uplift the, the black community. And one of the things, too, that's that's really interesting, you know, Thelonious Monk um, as a character and his family, they are not the stereotypical struggle black family. These guys are affluent, um, you know, this, this is an affluent black family. And, you know, we, we kind of see the kind of the existential struggle that Monk has as, you know, someone who is an affluent African-American author that is also in this situation where he wrote this, tra- what he considers this trash novel. But also, you know, there's this whole... Uh, issue of, you know, commercial, commercial art. And there's a great conversation that he has with Issa Rae, who's the writer of this, um, this one novel that really offends him. And, you know, it's a matter of, you know, writing for the audience and knowing what your audience, you know, likes. And, you know, there, there are a couple of rules in terms of writing. It's one, you know, write what you know, but two, you know, also write for, you know, the audience. So, where you know where do you draw the line when it comes to that and and i really believe that core jefferson did a great job you know towing the line and telling that type of story and bringing those themes out man this movie was fucking fantastic everything about it was just just amazing um highly 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 recommended um everything again from the performances on down to the direction the writing was just top notch um so i was so happy that i was able to see this movie i was so happy that this movie was able to show up in windsor like i said if i was able to see this um in 2023 this would have been in my um best best of um, or my favorites of 2023 definitely high up in that list uh, but yeah this was a tremendous movie i do see this getting some um oscar love some nominations definitely for jeffrey wright but yeah again highly highly recommended film. But uh, those are my initial thoughts on American fiction. What did you guys think of the film? Share your thoughts. 
leave your comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notifications as well. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.